Colonialism is defined as the mixing and spreading of ancient Greek culture. This idea brought forth one of the greatest ages as far as cultural development and overall achievement. We have to start with how this age began, though. That is our next symbol. Alexander the Great was born in 356 BC and was thrust into power at a young age, shortly after the murdering of his father, after he married Cleopatra. Alexander was known for his great success in battles, but died from a disease from a fever at the age of 33, with no heir or relative to take the throne. Alexander conquered many lands, which you can see. After his death, the land split into four main regions, which were ruled by the Diadochi. The three Diadochi were Ptolemy, Antigonus, and Seleucus. They ruled three main regions, which was the Antigonic Empire, the Antigonid Empire, and the Seleucus Empire. You also had the individual states, which aren't that very important. Alexander the Great's death brought the Hellenistic Age into being entirely. Here is a timeline focusing on the Hellenistic Age. As you can see, the age ended with the Romans conquering the Egyptians during the reign of Cleopatra IV, and thus they conquered the rest of the Hellenes. Even after the Hellenistic Age, the Romans kept a lot of the Greek culture and ideas, and they have also recognized their achievements, which there are many. Now we're heading out to Egypt. Okay. It held a prodigious, a prodigious amount of knowledge, including history, math, and science. It, it was the focal point of Alexandria, which was one of the greatest Hellenistic cities in its time. A lot of many great professors of this time period brought their knowledge into this library, which will be our next step. Here you can see the ancient Greek professors which worked all over the Hellenistic world. Just as Greek culture was spreading, so were these professors. Their achievements are still recognized to this very day. These scientists included Archimedes, who was known for his creation of levers and pulleys, and the discovery of water displacement as a way to measure volume. Archimedes is also known for one of his famous quotes, Give me a place to stand, and I can move the earth. This refers to his inventions of levers. Euclid was another of the great scholars of this age. His textbooks on geometry are still used today and dates back to his lifetime. These scientists help advance math and science to this very day, which we use. Now we're heading out to the pyramids of Giza. Oh, we are heading out to the pyramids of Giza, which is one of Egypt's greatest wonders. Let's go. I'm standing in front of the Great Pyramids of Giza. This is the only ancient wonder of the world left standing. This lets you see how tall they are compared to my height. I am only the size of about one cent. The Hellens created a list of the ancient wonders of the world. These Great Pyramids of Giza are the only wonders who have withstood the test of time. The other ancient wonders of the world are the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Pharaoh's Lighthouse of Alexandria, the Temple of Artemis, the Statue of Zeus, and the Colossus of Rhodes. Colossus of Rhodes. Now let's head back to the library to finish our documentary on Hellenism. To recap, Hellenism is the mixing and spreading of ancient Greek culture and ideas. However, it was much more than that. The Hellenistic Age was one of the greatest ages of all time as far as advancement in culture, math, and science. The expeditions of Alexander the Great brought forth one of the greatest culture spreads of all time and in all of mankind's history. Thank you.